In this video, you will learn how to format your paper according to Modern Language Association or MLA standards using Google Docs. This video will only cover guidelines related to font, spacing, margins, headings, and page numbers, and how to meet those guidelines when using Google Docs as the word processor. For more information regarding how to cite sources and format the Works Cited page, consult the MLA in-text citations and MLA Works Cited page videos. In the meantime, let's work on formatting this Google Doc according to MLA standards. To begin, ensure that the margins are set to one inch. Click File, then Page Setup. In this section, you are able to change the page orientation to portrait or landscape, the paper size depending on what size you want your paper to be, the margins, and even the page color. To meet MLA standards, your margin should be set to one inch, which it looks like they already are, so you can click OK. We are now going to change the font and the font size. Highlight the entire text of the document by typing Control A or Command A. You can also manually highlight the entire text of the document. Once you have all of the text highlighted, click the font toolbar. Right now it's set to Arial. You will need to change this to Times New Roman. You will now change the font size to 12 point. It looks like we are ready to change the spacing. If the text of your document is no longer highlighted, click Control A or Command A again. This time you're going to click Format and then highlight line spacing. Here you'll be able to select how much space you want in between each line of the text. To meet MLA standards, you should click Double. Now that we have the margins, spacing, and font set, we'll be able to add text to the document that meets the MLA standards. If you don't have a title for your document, you'll need to add one right before the essay begins. Capitalize all major words in the title. Highlight the title only and center it by typing Command Shift E or clicking the icon here. Even before the title, you also need to type a heading that includes your first and last name on the first line, teacher's name on the second line, the class on the third line, and the date on the final line, formatted by date, month, and then year. I'll give you an example. Again, it's your first and last name, teacher's name, the class, and then the year and date, formatted by date, month, year. Just a side note, when you're typing the date, type the full name of the month, not an abbreviation. Because we edited the spacing and font before, the heading and title do not need to be formatted any further. The final MLA guideline we have to meet, besides in-text citations on the Works Cited page, is including the page numbers. To do this, click Insert, and then highlight Page Number. Here you'll be able to select from four different options. You should select the first one that places the page numbers in the top right corner. From here, if this box is checked, you need to uncheck it. If we were styling this paper according to APA guidelines, we would leave that box checked, but this is an MLA paper, therefore uncheck this box. You then need to place your cursor in front of the numbers so that you can type your last name. Finally, you'll have to select this text in order to change it to Times New Roman 
12-point font like the rest of the essay. Once you have done this, it's always a good idea to check the other pages of your document in order to ensure that it worked properly. And from what it looks like, it has. Just a suggestion to make MLA easier for you as well as save you some time. Once you complete the steps in this video, you'll have a properly formatted MLA paper. You can make a copy of the document and save it as an MLA template so that you don't have to go through the entire process each time you begin or finish an essay. I know this was a short video and it doesn't take too long to adjust the settings, but when you're in college and have four papers to write in one night, every second counts. It will also ensure that you don't miss a tiny detail. This video covered how to format the paper following MLA guidelines on Google Docs. Check out the other videos for information on in-text citations and the Works Cited page. This video will be available to you at your convenience.